Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Skyrim. Where we left last time we were going to do some miscellaneous quests. We do have a dragon apparently nearby somewhere. We also have some destruction magic to learn and it's very slow. We're gonna let it regenerate a bit. Am I wearing my major rope? Yes. Am I wearing all my other stuff though? Okay, got my Nightweaver band on. Got that amulet on. Okay. Wait, do we wait for it to show up? Ooh. We need better mana or magic regeneration. Although we're doing a fair amount of damage to it with our lightning bolts. Almost up to enough magic. A whole Imperial Cadre showed up, apparently. I don't think that was the dragon we were supposed to kill, though. Because we have, like, a long way to go. We're actually going the wrong way. To get to the dragon we want to get to. We need to go west. To that road. And then we'll go up. I'm actually going to check one thing. Do we have any perk points? We don't, but we could get some. We have this magic reach. Oh yeah, we need one more of those. Okay, so we need... Hmm. We need another 12 points of regeneration magic. Does destruction have anything that helps us out? Apprentice level for half magicka might be useful. And we just have enough skill to get it once we have enough. Um, Perk points. Okay, are we on the right road? Yes. Now we get to go up the mountain. I'm gonna learn all the magics. Who are you? Yes. Yes. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> nope. That hurt. Where's Lydia? Just left that guy to face his death. There's Lydia. She took her sweet time to get there. Almost enough to fire off another spell. We really need more magicka. We should maybe make some armor that gives us magicka. Or start working on all of the magics. Maybe we should start working on um, alteration and stuff as well. Let's take a quick look, actually. So our conjuration is 19, which is pretty garbage. And that's just all. Summoning an Etrum. Yeah, okay. So there's nothing Magicka related there. Hmm. Oh well. I was kind of hoping that we'd get some more, like, plus magicka type stuff. That is not the case. We'll just have to wait patiently for more restoration skill, which we should probably work on. We do have other restoration spells now, but uh, restoration is one of the hardest things to level, apparently. I was looking at the experience per skill level. Lydia. There we go. The 
Destruction 26. We'll get there someday. I suppose Lydia hasn't killed it yet. There we go. If we can get another 25% um, Magicka regeneration will be set. Everything will be fine. I think that's where we're headed, that particular archway up there. Let's not forget that we can also use our weapons still. It's not like we've lost our one-handed skill. We haven't even gotten rid of the perk points for it yet. As we learn magic. Look at how pretty the landscape is here, though. Wait, where's Lydia? Lydia, where are you? There you are. We gotta make sure she's with us, because she's gonna be the only one defeating this dragon. Stop getting stuck on stairs. Jesus. Holy crap, that killed me in a single hit. Did we... We saved recently, I think. God, I hope we did. Kinda. Alright, let's walk back up there. Stupid one-shot trap. What do you need? Where's Lydia? Let's keep her with us so it's faster. Also, we're just gonna beat things to death on our way up there to make it quicker. We can also use magic with our offhand while hitting things with our right hand. Lydia's behind me, good. Where'd you even come from? like me. Alright, moving on. I've also favorited a summoning spell that we should probably work on as well. I don't know how good this is going to go. How good this is going to be, I should say. So we can work on conjuring as well. Worked out pretty good. Maybe we should really focus on conjuring as well. Let's see if we can get some decent conjuring skill. We're also going to shoot that stupid gem with a bow this time, so we don't get killed again. We're back to the stairs. I wasn't anticipating it would kill me in a single ice whirlwind. It was kind of crazy. Kind of a lot of damage. It's still beautiful out here. We didn't get to kill that one dragon again. Oh well. We're fighting this dragon coming up. Now, where was that thing? Too high. Done. Well, there's the dragon. Just kind of relaxing there. Where is Lydia?
Um, there she is. You suck at stairs, by the way, Lydia. She's almost up here. So we can finally get to this fight. Come on. Alright. How did that not wake it up? I'm just gonna use potions on this fight. I know we have a bunch of potions somewhere. I put like a bunch in a chest somewhere because we had a billion of them. I don't remember where I put them though. Destruction 26. Barely any damage to it though. There was a point at the beginning of this game where if you double cast lightning it would stun a creature and you can just hold it down like it could stream a lightning bolt forever. I don't know if that's still in the game but it was really overpowered. Because you could stun like a dragon and just kill it indiscriminately. There were a lot of really un overpowered things back in the beginning of Skyrim that I'm not sure if have been patched out or not. Look at that epic damage. other spells we can cast. Let's take a look. Maybe this is a better spell for us. We just have to be sure not to get hit, because we will die pretty horribly. I'm going to save, actually. Oh, nope. Lydia's... Actually, we have healing spells for Lydia now. Watch this. Uh, heal other. Oh, I did what I could. Healing. It's half lifeish or so. Where is it? There it is. Back to sparks. Except I don't think I have that on my favorite list. Although I do like Sparks, it's a cool spell. How about my Atronach? I don't have any mana for it. Oops, that was the wrong ability. Thought I had it on both. There we go.
There you go. Go at your knock. Kill. I don't think flames are going to do anything. Frostbite might, though. Oh, our damage is so bad. Yay, we won. It took a very long time. No, don't go down, body. Stop. Thank you. Now you can fall. I don't care. We got fear, dismay. And we got a dragon soul, I'm pretty sure. A mace of terror. It's alright. Weighs a lot. We're not going to bother grabbing it. Okay. So, dragon soul absorbed. Killed another dragon, kinda. It took a while. But we did it. What other miscellaneous quests do we have to do? We have to talk to the face sculptor in the ragged flagon. Where is that? If I... Oh, wait, hang on. No one's being found. Okay. Ragged... Oh, it's here. Oh, right. We also need to find a mammoth tusk, which we can find, in fact, pretty easily. I think if we travel out to here, we can kill a mammoth. We are also going to have to kill a giant, which is going to be way harder than killing a mammoth. Maybe there won't be too many giants around. I see a mud crab. Where did it go? There it is. Alright. So if we look in this camp, we're probably going to find some giants. And most likely a mammoth or two. <laughs> the hell? Where'd you even come from? I missed entirely with that lightning bolt. Okay. So there's clearly a giant up there. Two giants at least. Although we might be able to pull the mammoth here without getting all the rest of the camp. Maybe. We're going to stealth archer this. And try and just pull one of the mammoths. Nope, one of the giants definitely came running. We may have to go in and actually fight this. Do they lower these things... difficulty? Just use frost or fire, not fireball, flames. We are the worst at magic. Oh, 
let's also get some archery skill while we do this too. Sorry, Mammoth. Why are you coming? Damn it. Archery is also the easiest thing to level, by the way, in terms of um, skill per level. Almost dead. Okay, we just needed one tusk anyways. Done. Uh, we can probably loot the giant while we're here too. Oh. I really didn't want to kill the, uh, giants, in all fairness, but such is life. I was kind of hoping just to pick up one mammoth. There is, however, a chest here. Might as well grab that, too. That was kind of lucky. Garbage. Why do you have three shields? Also, that's a giant bonfire. Anyways, we're going to Medici to turn this quest. Off to Riften, I guess. And then once we turn this, all three of these quests, we'll see if there's any follow-up. Which there may or may not be. Greetings. Here you Good. go. These will make wonderful settings for my rings. Mammoth tusk. Ivory from this tusk will be perfect for the inlay on my amulets. Chunk of gold. Perfect. Melting this down will give me plenty of gold for those necklaces I started. Anything else? No, I think I have enough here to get started. Here, let me give you this. It's the least I can do for all your trouble. Take Let's go sell things over here. He has 700 bucks and we can sell things to him. You can take that and that. God, we have too much junk. Safe travels, Landstrider. What's next on our list? Oh yeah, we have to talk to collect a bounty. From whom? Windhelm had the bounty. I hope this place is in better shape than when we left it last time. Which is to say, poor shape. It's not in much better shape, to be honest. Is there an interim government setup? I hope the wilds claim you one of these days. Damn, the dragon that lost tongue overlook is dead. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. You're not in Riften currently, by the way. Being in exile is the most humiliating thing I've experienced in my life. You're also not in exile. You're sitting in the throne room of the, the Rift or uh Skyrim's Palace of Kings. So how exactly are you in exile? Some people just don't understand what exile is. What do we have to report to the Jarl of Whiterun about? Let's go do that next. We have so many little quests to do that we've just accumulated over time. I want to get a bunch of them done so that we can Dragons breathing fire in the sky. move on to other things. Hi. 
May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Why do you think Ulfric killed Die King? No doubt, he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, because he knew he could. No, okay. Uh, what will it take to end the war? Ulfric Stormcloak's head on a pike. Do you think Ulfric really cares about Skyrim's independence? Or the welfare of its people? I promise you, he doesn't. He's nothing more than a barbarian renegade. Whose lust for power has cost the lives of countless innocents. Why side of the Mutual empire? advantage. Any fool can see that. For centuries, we have benefited from the empire's protection and prosperous trade with the south. In exchange, the people of Cyrodiil sleep peacefully, knowing their northern border is guarded by the fiercest warriors in all Tamriel. Well, I mean, there's. Okay. Now, if you don't... We did that. I've got this. But it's still on my list of things to do. Oh. Well. We have so many of these things. Okay, we're gonna uh, have to... Start doing some of these next video. Or at least start working on some of these as well. The Dawn Guard, Thieves Guild One, Shrine of Talos. We should do the Solitude one next, actually. That's the one we're gonna do. Lights Out is our next mission. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you next time. Take care.